Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to tackle the problem with objects on the table and how objects hanging down. They're connected with a pulley and a string, and so I should say connected with a string because the pulley doesn't connect it, but the pulley redirects the string, of course, and so the whole system will be accelerating with M2 pulling everything, well, pulling M1 to the right and M2 will go down. Now, to solve this as a whole system, we simply look at all the forces that act in the same direction as acceleration are all the forces that act in the opposite direction of the acceleration. This will be in the same direction, this will be in the opposite direction. So the acceleration is the net force divided by the total mass. The force acting in the same direction, which means it's aiding the acceleration, minus the force which is opposing the acceleration divided by the total mass. When we factor out a g, we have the equation for the acceleration of the whole system. We can now do the same thing using free body diagrams. We look at each mass separately. We look at all the, all the forces acting on each mass. Notice that the weight M1G is canceled out by the normal force in the opposite direction. Notice that this is equal to M1G, same force in the opposite direction. And so the only forces acting in the same or opposite direction of the acceleration are these two forces right here. And in the case of M2, it'll be those two forces. This is what usually makes free body diagrams a little bit more confusing because in this case here we have the acceleration left to right and here we have it up down. So again, the way we handle that is if the force is in the same direction the acceleration it's aiding, if it's in the opposite direction the acceleration is opposing, this is aiding, this one is opposing. So the equations for Newton's second law F net equals ma for the first mass becomes the tension, which is aiding, minus the friction force, which is opposing, equals the mass times acceleration. And in the hanging weight case, it's the grav force of gravity pulling down, which is aiding the acceleration, minus the tension in the string, which is opposing, equals M2A. So now we have those two equations with the two unknowns, the tension and the acceleration. We want to get rid of the tension because we're looking for the acceleration. I guess I should make a note of that. Acceleration is equal to question mark. All right. So solving this for the tension, we get tension is equal to M1A plus M1G mu. And over here, moving this to the right side and this to the left, we get T is equal to, so this becomes negative, that will be positive, so M2G minus M2A. And now we can set the two equal to each other, so now we end up with M1A, M2A. And now we're going to move all the terms with an A to the left side, everything else to the right side. So we have M1A would be plus M2A is equal to M2G minus M1G times mu. Like that. Now we can factor out an A on the left side and G on the right side. So we have A times times G. And then finally, when we divide both sides by the sum of the two masses, we can then get the equation. The acceleration is equal to M2. And again, we get the exact same equation for the acceleration that we got over here. Now to find out what the acceleration is, let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. So the acceleration is equal to M2, which is 10 minus 5 times mu, which is 0 0.2 times g divided by 5 plus 10. So the acceleration is 5 times 0.2, that would be 1. 1 times, well, 1 minus, uh, 10 minus 1 is 9, so that would be 9g divided by 15. So a is equal to 915 g. So 9 divided by 15 and times 9.8, we get 5.88 meters per second square. And that's how we do that.